Hi, everybody, and welcome. Uh, my name is Chris Shaw, Director of Product Marketing in the Automotive and IoT Group at Arm. Um, in our work, we constantly get to see innovative things which customers create using our technology and development tools. It's very exciting and all the stuff they bring in from the ecosystem. But every once in a while, uh, we come up or we come across something really special that, that triggers a step change in excitement and capability and possibility. Now, you, you, we often say, I'm sure you've heard it, data begins at the endpoint. And all of these endpoints, cars, phones, sensors, and so on, they constantly generate data. And in many cases, the value of that data is measured in milliseconds. And to maximize that value, we need to process it quickly. And the best and safest and most secure way of doing that is locally. So that means moving all that compute closer to the data than ever before, giving the endpoints the ability to process their own data. So we ensure the lowest time to value of the data and the greatest insight. So to enable AI for IoT at the endpoint and bring the benefits of AI to billions more devices and billions more people, we recently launched two new very exciting products, Cortex M55, which is an evolution of the Cortex M microcontrollers, and Ethos U55, which is completely new. It's a micro NPU. So what we've got here, if you put them together, is two products that transform the possibilities for compute in the endpoint. And if you put them together, they deliver a 480 times, let me say that again, 480 times improvement in ML performance. And a truly compelling tool story, couple that with the ecosystem and everything that comes from that. And with that puts this in the hands of developers absolutely everywhere. And these products are going to unlock a new level of innovation in endpoint AI. So I want to give you a short introduction to each of these and then some pointers to where you can go and find out more, because I'm sure you'll want to. To help with that, I'm very excited to be joined by two colleagues who have a really special interest in these products. First is Alan Skillman, technical lead on the development of Cortex M55, and then Thomas Edso, who was technical lead on the Ethos U55. So first of all, Alan, if I can turn to you, just, just tell me in your own words, what is so special about the Cortex M55? Sure, Chris. Cortex M55 really lifts the bar on microcontroller performance while maintaining the ease of use of Cortex M, including a single tool chain and a familiar software development ecosystem. We designed it completely from the ground up to make maximum use of a new architecture extension called ARM Helium technology. This adds vector processing capability to the standard instruction set. So we redesigned the pipeline, the arithmetic units, and the memory interface to give maximum throughput. So vector capability in a microcontroller, that sounds really new and exciting. What sort of workloads is that good for? It's aimed at all kinds of workloads where you would normally use DSP. But now with a single processor, with a single familiar tool chain to ease the design process for developers. What we've achieved is a machine that is capable of all the real-time control flow, which you would expect from a Cortex-M microcontroller, but also capable of handling serious DSP workloads. And it sounds like a really neat trick to port that all in one tool chain. So you don't have to compile for a DSP and compile for a microcontroller, and match the two up, one single tool chain, neat trick. So what kind of speed up does that give you on your new product? So approximately about five times on regular DSP workloads and around 15 times on machine learning type workloads. Wow. I can see how this is really going to transform the kind of things that people can do. It's a really useful uplift and it's going to enable some great new applications. Thank you, Alan. Now I'd like to turn to Thomas. And Thomas, if you remember, led the team that developed the Ethos U55. So Thomas, this is a completely new thing. Tell me a little bit about what makes Ethos U55 different. Well, so the Ethos U55, it's not really a traditional microprocessor like many of the products um, ARM has designed before. So instead, this is a dedicated engine that specifically is designed to accelerate neural network workloads. So it has a completely new architecture, different to anything we have done before. 
Okay, so you say neural network workloads. What what does that mean? What kind of workloads are those? Well, it's designed to work together with a microcontroller like the Cortex M55 to enable serious uh, workloads of ML. And together, these two processors will deliver up to 480 times, as you said, improvement in performance on ML workloads. And that completely changes what you can do on a microcontroller. Yeah, I can see how that changes the bar, the expectations, the conceptions completely. So, you know, opening up your crystal ball, what kind of applications do you think we're going to see enabled by these new products? Well, our experience shows that we will be able to handle sophisticated audio processing, such as speech and video uh, voice recognition. But we can also do a lot of video applications now, such as face recognition, uh, while still having extremely low uh, power uh, consumption. So you can really do things like this on a battery power device now. And, and that's really exciting. Wow. As you say, that is starting to get exciting. I think we're starting to see people realize that you can do, you know, at least some elementary voice processing on a microcontroller platform. But now you tell me we can do video processing on a microcontroller platform. Yes, I can see that's going to get exciting. So thanks to both of you, to Alan and Thomas, for those fascinating insights. And I hope what you take away from that is there are some very, very exciting possibilities. And I'd like to point you to a couple of follow-up videos, which the three of us have made, that go into much more detail about these new products and what those possibilities really are. And we've also very excitingly included some interviews with Cambridge Consultants. They're one of our design partners, and we've given them early access to these products. And they've been able to generate some amazing performance figures very quickly. And they're now looking to see how far they can stretch these products and just how far they can go in enabling really significant machine learning applications on a microcontroller platform. And you can find those videos on the ARM website. And if you follow through on the website, you'll find lots of other resources about endpoint AI on ARM processors, as well as Cortex M55 and U55 details, white papers, case studies, technical documentation, and textbooks, and lots more. So my thanks to Alan and Thomas for talking to us today, and my thanks to you for watching. Goodbye.